What is up, my fellow Cheebits? Hopefully all of you are having a very good day today, because a new chapter of the spinoff of Boku no Hero Academia has come out. Now, just a brief FYI, the chapter has actually been out for about a day and a half, two days now, and I was actually unaware of it. I was unaware of it. Apparently, the day when I did my, you know, Boku no Hero Academia, like, you know, illegals chapter review, it was like a couple days ago, well, apparently when I did that, another chapter came out later that day. So, from what I've been told, apparently we were actually behind. Like, we were behind chapter translations for the spinoff series, and now MS is officially caught up with the series, so now we are up to date with the latest chapter. So that's why we had two chapters come out this week. It wasn't the fact that we just had double chapters, it was the fact that we were actually behind, and they finally caught up with the releases. So anyways, the latest chapter, chapter 14 of the spinoff is out. If you have yet to read it, go out of your way and read it, because it was a really good chapter, and it actually has a lot of meaning to it. So to get right into it, Captain Celebrity. He is the major focus of the latest chapter, which actually goes along with the previous chapter's point of view. Popularity is key for professional heroes. And basically, Captain Celebrity is a big, you know, viewpoint for that. Popularity has definitely fueled him to be where he is at. Now, automatically, I want to say his character, Captain Celebrity, he's, sc he's a scumbag. He he's scummy. He, he is absolutely scummy. And everything about him is exactly what Stain would hate the most. And I believe since Stain has already been introduced into the spinoff, we got to see his origin story. And we do know Stain eventually starts to commit a lot of acts, of like, you know, a lot of heinous acts and starts taking down heroes. I'm going to assume that Captain Celebrity is going to be one of his victims or one of his early victims. I, I can definitely see it because the way Stain has already been introduced, now we're getting into heroes that are very scummy and all about popularity and stuff. I feel like that's the point here, to show what led Stain to be where he's at in the official series of Boku no Hero Academia. And we're probably going to get to see some of his victims, which is probably going to be Captain Celebrity. I sense it right now, because when you think about it, Captain Celebrity is not in the official manga. Now... Just an FYI, I know many is going to say, like, whoa, 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 chibi, chibi, chibi. Th this takes place a year before, you know, Boku no Hero's main series. Yes, I know that. I I'm fully aware of that. I, I, I know. However, even then, this series, the spinoff, is canon. It's official canon. Like, it's not fake stuff. It's not stuff you could disregard and say it doesn't actually happen. The stuff that goes on in Boku no Hero Academia's, you know, illegals, the spinoff, this is official stuff. So anything we see is actually world building for the main series or characterization whatever. And in this case, Captain Celebrity, from what my understanding is, he has never been mentioned in the main series, which is very strange. For the only reason why he's never been mentioned is one or two things. Either A, he went back to the States, he went back to the United States and went back to be a hero there, or he died. Stain got rid of him, which we do know Stain has done that to people, especially from the main series. It's been established already. So that is a possibility. He could have done that to Captain Celebrity. He could be one of his first victims. So I just wanted to point that out if you're unaware of that correlation there. Anyways, Captain Celebrity, his entire, entire character shows what is wrong with the hero society. What What's wrong with the system and the laws and stuff and how someone can easily abuse the laws to be a hero and I've already discussed in length in depth with what it means to be a hero and what Stain's viewpoint is on being a hero and you know what All Might stands for so I'm not going to get into that because I've discussed that many times and I'm not going to rehash what I've already said however when it comes to Captain Celebrity what he stands for is something along the side of how you can follow the law be a hero be good at your job but you don't do anything past that. You see, like Stain said, just because you get a license doesn't automatically mean you're a hero. It doesn't. You may be good at your job, may be good at hero work, for instance, Endeavor, but it doesn't automatically mean that you are a actual hero. In this case, Captain Celebrity is doing his job, but at the same time, he's not. 
when you look at his, his description of what he's doing, you can't really fault the man. He actually is following his job. It's like this, okay? You have, you know, a business to do. Let's say you're a fast food worker or whatever. You're working at fast food and you're, you know, having to make burgers or something, okay? And someone asks for, like, a standard burger with, you know, cheese and pickles on it, ketchup and mustard, then you're going to make that. You're not going to throw in mayonnaise on it just because. You're not going to do that. That's not your job. They ask for, like, a certain hamburger. And in this case, that's how Captain Celebrity views it. He views it as if he's following the rules of his job he's doing what his job requires him to do and that's it he's not going you know a step beyond what his job wants him to do and in a way he's manipulating the laws and the system of his job to further his popularity for he can get bigger making the money and stuff like that so he's in terms of business wise he's not doing anything wrong you cannot fault the man like you know captain celebrity at all for his business aspect his approach i mean when it comes to him being a business guy and trying to make money and a living and all that you cannot fault the man but morally he is very wrong he is extremely wrong morally because even though he says like whoa whoa, whoa he hasn't been approved by the you know the cops and all that to go in and save anyone that, that still doesn't mean anything. He, that was morally wrong because he was willing to allow someone to get injured or even die because the cops didn't approve of it, which that's where the main fine line for this series pops up once again. It's like this, okay? What vigilantes stand for in the first place and what the concept of the spinoff is for. If, you let, let's just say, okay, you're a vigilante, automatically you're a villain. That's what the law considers you as. You are a villain. Regardless if you're doing good deeds, regardless if you are, you know, saving people, saving lives, and, you know, taking criminals off the streets and putting them behind bars, you're still considered a criminal because you're going against the law. You're a vigilante. You're not a, a licensed hero. And obviously you should follow the laws. But at the same time, though, the laws are there and they restrict people so much to where you can't do things that you should be able to do. In this case... You would have it to where there's like this criminal that's able to get away with everything they can because they're just, you know, bending the law into their favor. And they can get back on the street and everything's fine. And that's where vigilantes come in. They're able to kind of go outside the law and actually help out where the law cannot help at all. And that shows what the concept of the series is about. It's always been shredding that fine line. Not even actually in the spinoff, but also in the main series, how Izuku's even demonstrated he's broken the law like of Hero Society to even save people. He's done that. Like, he's used his quirk and all that when he shouldn't have saved people, but he did it because he needed to make sure people were okay. And that's just who he is as a person. And so... With this, the fine line between how Captain Celebrity is using the law and how he's morally incorrect in a way, how he's using it, it's messed up. And it just shows, once again, how the system needs to be worked on. There's obvious flaws that need to be worked on and replaced. It's an old system, and it just needs to be improved overall. And when you see the man actually willing to just allow the villain to do whatever he wants until he has the approval, shows what is wrong. And it also shows what Stain is trying to prove and what he's trying to correct in the first place. I know Stain's overall ideology is not completely correct. There's a lot of flaws with it, but at the same time, though, what Stain wants is an actual step, maybe a little bit twisted, but in the right direction. We need change. There has to be change for the hero system. The laws of being a hero, there has to be great changes. And that is what the series is trying to show, or at the very least, this chapter is showing that Heroes like this exist. Heroes that only care about their popularity. Heroes that only care about their face being on the TV and they have their self being shown like they're popular and all that and, you know, they're great people or a great person that can, you know, go out there and save the day. And that right there just shows that stuff like this, the, the system is being abused. So, I like this chapter. It was a really nice chapter just to show the faults with the system and what's been being discussed in the recent chapters and how it needs to be fixed. So... Anyways, let's talk about how the man didn't care about our main male character at all, and he actually slung the villain into the wall. And that goes against exactly what the main series has been discussing for a while. When you're fighting a hero, obviously you need to take into consideration the buildings, the structures around you, the civilians. Because automatically heroes are at an instant disadvantage compared to normal Villains. Any villains, they're at an advantage because they don't need to worry about life. They don't need to worry about building destruction or anything. They can just go all out and not care whatsoever. 
But in this case, heroes, they have a massive restriction. They're chained down because they have to worry about civilians. They have to worry about damage to all the surroundings once everything is said and done, but then also worry about the villain and not killing the villain. So when you look at all of these things, heroes are restricted quite a bit. But you see Captain Celebrity, he doesn't care at all. He doesn't try to stop the villain like that, like All Might would. All Might would go in and just one-shot a villain, take him out like that, villain's down. You have it to where Captain Celebrity, he doesn't care. He, you can see that he has the strength. He has the power to be able to bring down villains ra relatively quickly. I mean, we even see a glimpse into, like, two years ago, apparently this man picked up an entire cruise ship, which... I know many might say, like, okay, that's, that's, yes, it's powerful, but, like, what does it mean? Well, for him to be able to pick up something like that, that high out of the water, and fly with it, shows he is extremely powerful, and he would pack a massive punch. And so this man would obviously be able to take down someone of that size with one punch, or maybe even two or three punches. He would be able to take down a man very quickly. But you can see that he was messing around with the villain the entire time just to get popularity, just to show that, you know, this is really cool, like he's good at fighting or whatever, he's a good hero. He's more worried about his viewership and people, how they view him, than actually him actually doing his job. So with that being said, I think that is about it. It. I think I've covered everything I need to cover. If I missed anything, let me know in the comments below. But if you like this video, please leave a like. And if you like my content, please subscribe. And if you want to support me on Patreon, please go in the description and support me. It helps me out a lot. It allows me to focus on YouTube. And one other thing before I end this video, if for some reason you haven't been getting notifications for my videos for this past week, well, for some reason you need to click the bell icon next to the subscribe button to be able to actually get notifications for every time I upload a video. So just an FYI, if you've been having issues this week with my videos and you haven't been getting notifications, click the bell icon next to the subscribe button. So I love you guys. You have a wonderful day or not wherever you live. Please be safe. Chibi out.